Hello people Zane, in today's video I'm going to be doing kind of get ready with me, I'm about to be going out here, pixie running around, that's why, using the Tati Beauty Texture Nature Palette, which I have used a lot this month, it's just kind of my go-to at the moment, this is what it looks like, and then to give myself a little bit of a challenge, I saw this idea from Katie, I'm pretty sure she was not the originator of this, but so I had, um, basically I put the numbers on one through <coughs> 24 and I might have my mom pick five different numbers between 1 and 24 1 being here 24 being here and she gave me five different numbers so she picked three which is story glitter she picked soothe number four which is soothe glitter then she picked 15 which is Story sequenced, and then she picked 21, which is this one, and she also picked 24. So we have this, 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 and this to work with. So you don't really have a um, transition or inner corner highlight to work with for the day, but. We do have a very fall-ish look, which I guess sort of goes with my um, shirt, <laughs> which is one day we will all be skeletons, <laughs> which is actually a Philip DeFranco t-shirt, because I just really like it. I'll put um, Kate's video down below where I got the idea from, in case you guys were wondering. I think her boyfriend picked hers, but I had had my mom do it, so I don't have a boyfriend. Maybe Pixie just brought in a squeaky toy. Right? Is that what you have? What do you have? Pixie? What do you have? Yeah, you brought a squeaky toy. Okay. There's a squeaky toy going off. That's why. Alright. I just used, um, Arm Decay eyeshadow from Rain Eden. My usual go-to. And then I'm going to start off with a Luxie... 207 medium angle brush and we're going to start off with um sequence shade of story and we are very um, tapping that off a lot so we don't have a ton of pigment and we're going to kind of start using that diffused on the lid here across this crease area here so kind of like that then we'll build up the intensity going down. I'm gonna do the other eye off um, camera. And I don't have any other makeup on because I like to do my eyeshadow first. Okay, that's where we're starting with. Then I'm gonna go in with Story Matte and just one tap off, same brush. We're just going to build up that kind of intensity in the crease here. And then, I don't know what's happening there. It looks like I have a bruise, which is weird. I'm going to take Poet in matte. Also go in the crease with that. Can I really get that old intensity here? Okay. That's where we're at right now. I'm just gonna go back in the first brush and more sequins. Okay, diffuse out. This is looking very grungy. I need to clean this up. I don't know what's happening right there. Alright, I'm going to go clean that up, do the other eye to that one, and work it back. Alright, I got the rest of the face makeup kind of done. Um, brow bone I just did quickly, because I really forgot to film this part. I put uh, Be, Be Sweet from 
the Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey Palette on the brow bone just to give it a little bit of a highlight. And that's also what I have as my highlight everywhere else. I don't have lips on. We're going to finish up the rest of the eyes and then we'll do that. Um, before I go into the glitter, let's get the lower lash line done. So I'm going to take this really, really short um, brush from e.l.f. We're going to go in with Story Sequenced, which was number 15 in the palette. I'm going to smoke that out in the lower lash line. I love this brush for the lower lash line. It's just the perfect thing that just gets right in there and it just deposits the pigment where I want it. Just like that. And then I'm just going to take a clean-ish brush, fluffy brush, and just kind of blend that out underneath. This is kind of diffused. Then I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Joyride because that kind of matches Poet. I'm going to put that on the lower lash line. Which Poet is number 24 in the palette. Which is one my mom gave me. So we got that going for us. Then we're going to go in with Poet. Because we need to smoke that and blend that in a little bit so you can see it's kind of kind of matches our crease area down below. It really makes my eyes look green. My goodness. All right, then we need to do the glitter, but before we do the glitter, I need a base for the glitter. So we're going to use. Um, some more story in the sequence shade. I'm just tapping that off. I'm just laying that down, not being too, too precise with it because we don't really care. We see something underneath the glitter. I have noticed that if you don't have something under the glitter, it really shows through that it doesn't have anything underneath. So, that's what we're doing with the buyer. So the last two shades I'm all picked were three, which is this one, and four, which is this one. So I think I'm gonna start with Story Glitter on my finger. And I'm just going to tap that on in the center here. One good thing about this shade is it all comes off your finger and just sticks on your lid where you put it. Then we got that going for us. So you don't get glitter like just everywhere. It's like the only pressed glitter that like I don't secretly hate. Like I love glitter. I think it looks so pretty. But my god, does it get everywhere. Normally. This this doesn't. This, this kind of stays where you put it. Okay, then last we need soup. I'm gonna put that on my middle finger. And I'm just gonna put that in the dead center. So you kinda got that dimension. Kind of. like that. And then I'm going to go back in with this brush and Poet Matte. Number 24 in the palette. And just kind of overlay it a little bit onto the glitter. The glitter will still very shine through, but I just want it a little bit more blended, which is what that, which is what that accomplishes. Alright, now just need to do eyeliner and lashes and lips. I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Alright, and here is the final part. Um, lashes, we have House of Lashes Luxe Collection 
in Midnight Lux. Those are the letters we have on. I'm gonna kiss my mom and see what she thinks here. So she picked the makeup. She answers. That is. What'd you think? Wow, aren't you a party? Like what you picked out? Oh, is that how you picked it? <laughs> yeah, then, um, I don't know, then I just, I don't know, did 21 and something else today. 24. Oh, there you go. Very scientific. <laughs> okay. All right. That is the final result using the Tati Beauty Texture Neutral Palette. If you guys want more videos on this, let me know. I was asked my sister to do the same thing, though I might switch out the palette. I don't know if I have another 24 palette though. I told her 1 through 24. So I might do another video on this or I'll just do that for Instagram. I don't know yet. But I'm really liking this palette. I have worn this nine times in the last two weeks. So I have not switched out to another palette because I have been loving this one so much. So yeah. That was the look using this palette. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big pause up. Subscribe to the Hal Pack, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!